In this video, I'm going to be giving you a two-play little mini-scheme out of the same play that you can use to be able to beat every defense in Madden 21, specifically those pesky zone defenses that might be able to give you some trouble out of the bunch tight end offense. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player at Madden 21. And we do that through different tips and strategies here on YouTube every single day. We break down pro players. We break down gameplays, we break down different tips and strategies in practice mode as well. And in today's video, I'm actually really, really excited to share with you kind of a two-play uh, or two-route concept uh, offense that's really going to help you, I think, a ton uh, in Madden 21. So let's jump right into it. Now, if you have any questions, you can always text me. My number's in the description. All right, guys, so I just released a Bunch Tight End ebook. I believe Bunch Tight End is probably the best offense in Madden 21. Now, I want to show you my coaching adjustments on defense. I'm going to go to kind of a standard uh, coaching adjust adjustment strategy right here. And we're going to work out of some of the nickel three through five stuff that a lot of people are running, uh, including myself. And if you want to get my full defense on it, um, my link is in the description for it. But anyways, we're going to talk specifically about Gun Bunch Tight End X Spot. Now, I love this play. It's one of my favorite plays in the entire game. And I want to give you a couple different ways to run it to make it super, super effective uh, for you. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our tight in on a post route. Now, if you don't have a tight end apprentice, you can put him on a curl route or really any route that you want. But for this specific setup, I really like to be able to put him on a post route. Now, um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take Chris Godwin and we're going to put him on a flat route. We're going to take Mike Evans and we're going to put him on a hitch route, just like this right here. And all we're going to do is we're going to motion Antonio Brown about a step or two to the left and snap the ball. And what you'll see is he is going to sit in between every zone in the entire game. That little spot route is going to basically fill into essentially every meta zone coverage. So I'm going to show you a different zone coverage here, and that is going to basically have a vertical hook, um, a hard flat, obviously, or um, I'm sorry, a curl flat. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a hook curl over there. We're going to put a, a vertical hook, and we're going to put a three rec hook over there. So we have three different types of curls or different types of yellow zones. All of them are at five yards. And I want you to watch kind of how this route combination is going to develop. And essentially what it's going to do is it's going to really put your user in a bind. You'll see here that the yellows don't cover Antonio Brown. As long as you time that motion snap perfectly, he's not going to be covered by a yellow. The hitch route is going to draw most of the yellows. And this is a simple combination because most of the time your your user, um, whoever is user in the middle of the field, he is going to want to go guard the um, the tight end on this play. Almost every time he will certainly go guard that tight end. So what that means is if we can kind of put their user in a bind, um, this is where this thing can really become very effective. So I like to put the running back on a ghost route, uh, tight end on a post, got the hitch right there to Mike Evans, and then I have this flat route right here. And again, all I'm going to do is I'm going to snap Antonio Brown about three to four steps to the left, and you'll see he will sit under every zone. The other nice thing is you have that post route coming across, and most of the time with the way people are going to be playing defense against you, they're going to have to use that post the entire duration of the play because those yellow zones are shaded at, at five yards. So what that means is let's – Let's say that they try to go user the spot route, right? Let's say that they try to go user the spot route. So uh, I'm going to show you three rec, all that stuff, right? Now they're going to go user the spot route. So you can clearly see that as well in your, in your read here. So if they jump to the spot route, then you say, oh, they jumped to the spot route. Now I can hit that post route early. Now I can hit that post route early. So that's one version of this play. The next version of this play is essentially a very similar type of setup. It's just you're going to motion a different person. Now, I don't particularly like this one as much um, just because I feel like if they have the right call um, as far as their yellow zones are concerned, they might be able to give this play a little bit of trouble. So everything is the same. The only thing that changes is who you motion. So the only thing that's going to change here is who I motion. So if you take a look here, every route is the same on the play. The difference is instead of motioning Brown, I'm going to motion Evans and snap him right about here. And again, what you'll notice is he'll sit between every zone and you'll be able to do this. This is really good for when they start to man people up because they inevitably will do that. Um, if they start manning, if they start, you know, manning in particular players up, 
that's where I really like to go to these setups here because now it's just a chess match of do they man up the right person, right? Now, obviously, if it's man-to-man -man coverage, your tight end route will be able to beat that. But let me show you once again. You're just again, you can most in either one of these two to the left, and as you can see right there, that little hitch right there for about five yards. Now, I absolutely love that read um, against against that coverage. So, as you can see, that's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a trick there. And the next thing I want to show you, a last little tip here with this offense, is let's say they run man-to-man -man coverage. Well, this spot route is very unique, and this is why I like to motion the spot route normally. Um, I think the spot route is very unique, because what you'll see here is if I lowball it, he is typically going to have inside positioning against man-to-man -man coverage. Because he does that little pause, even if they shade coverage underneath, and I'll show you that right here, even if they shade coverage underneath, that spot route has a pretty decent chance at being able to get open against man-to-man. -man. Again, just motion him out, he does that little pause, and you're going to lowball it, as you can see, that instant um, instant laser for your offense. So that is a little bit about bunch tight end, a little bit about how to use X-Spot. It's a really, really good play in combination with everything else. I didn't show you the tight end route. I meant to show you that. Um, but the reason I like putting the tight end on a post route is because that allows me then to basically go ahead and use motion here on this back side. It also, as you can see, the tight end is going to typically beat man-to-man -man coverage regardless of who's covering him. And so that's going to mean, again, a bind for their user. Um, and that's really what we want to create is that putting their user in a position where their user can't win. That's the t That's really the secret sauce of this bunch tight end. It typically will put their user in a position that their user simply cannot win. So Anyways, if you want to get the full offensive guide, it is in the description. This is a simple, simple constraint play, a simple option that you can utilize that really does a good job of being able to beat a lot of the coverages that you're going to face while also um, being able to just be simple, a simple yard gainer, nothing too crazy with this play. But I thought that this, again, every yellow, in this, every yellow zone in the game can't guard it. And man coverage doesn't do that great because if they run man coverage, which I guarantee you that's going to be their first solution, is to simply man this up. But the beauty of it is the little dramatic pause that it does allows it to get inside position for a low ball, easy read. If you trust that route, if you have a gunslinger quarterback, that's an easy laser for your quarterback. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, be sure to text me. My personal cell phone number is 812-216-3644. Um, that's also a great way to get our text message membership, which is completely free to you guys and gives you free schemes every single week uh, in that membership. Last but not least, guys, just a quick reminder, we do stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And if you want to get this full bunch tight end offensive ebook, that link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in uh, on the stream tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern time.